Hello everyone, in this video we will show you how to add and use the eWallet feature in your app. Log in your account and go to your business dashboard. Next, click on Manage App and you'll be redirected to the Overview page. Under the Edit Test and Go Live section, click on Edit. In your Edit App section, go to the menu on the top left and click on Add Future. In this light out menu, click on View All to see the list of features, search for the eWallet feature and click on Add Future to add it to your app. You will now see the eWallet feature listed in my future section. When you hover over the future, you will see multiple options like hide future, edit and customize future, and delete the future. For more options, click on the keep up menu on the right and explore the options to move the future up, down, top, bottom, or to another folder. Let's click on the edit and customize future option to see how we can edit the future further. Here in the Edit Future section, you will see all the options you can explore and start using the future in your app. You can change the page name here, click on the Change Icon section, and this window will open up. Click on Select Icon where you will see multiple options for icons. You can further choose to see any solid and outline options. In the Select Image section, you will see loads of options for images that can be used as icons for your eWallet future. You can also upload a custom icon for Apple, Android, and website to make your app icon, icon stand out. In the content section, click on manage and you'll be redirected to the general settings page. On the left sidebar menu, you can see three options under the general settings section, configuration settings, language settings, and CMS pages. Click on configuration settings and you can see an alert that requires you to select a payment method for the eWallet feature to function. Under the general information section, you can select a currency or choose to allow the app users to add money to the wallet or authenticate using a touch ID before making the payment using the toggle button. Scroll down to select a payment method. Click the checkbox next to the PayPal, WPS and add your PayPal business email address and click save. Now go to the language settings section and check whether you want to add or edit any field. Click on CMS pages and add the terms and conditions and privacy policy and save. Click on manage transactions, add balance, and on the top, on the next pop-up, you can select the customer and enter the figure you want to add the wallet. As balance and then click save. The transaction will appear on the manage transactions page with all the details like transaction ID, name, date, amount, payment method, and the status of the transaction. Click on the ellipsis button and click on view. You can now see the payment received and print it by clicking here. Click sort by button and in the pop-up you can choose to sort the transactions by date or name and decide whether you want the transactions to appear in ascending or descending order and click apply. Click on filter by and choose features like transaction type, mode of payment, date and payment status and click filter to get more relevant search results. Click export and choose whether you want to export the file as CSV or Excel and click export. You can add more transactions by clicking on the add balance button. Click on go back to reach your future homepage. Now that we are done with the content section, let's move to the design section. You can change the page elements, color and font size. Next go to the in-app settings. Here you can enable or disable in-app for your app with the simple toggle action. Here you can add the Android and iOS payment credentials. You can also find relevant tutorials for the process by clicking here. Scroll down and add your Android payment receipt credentials. You can choose to use these credentials or as global credentials. All the edits and changes will be saved automatically, but you can also save them manually. As soon as you click publish, you will be able to see all the changes immediately.